Hi guys, Len here. Uh, finished these tongs off. Trying to get to better light. They came out alright. Nice light little pair. A bit smaller jaws. Been practicing to have them in bend. Not too good, but it, it's alright. These are nice little set of tongs. And I mentioned to Andy that I was making a, another draw knife. I wanted a bigger one. So this is it Andy. Uh, I'll do a video one day on it. I've done a video of draw mice. This is my first one. This one here. The first one I've ever made. Made about five so far. This is the sixth one. The big one. This one's a bit curved. But it's a good little knife. Does the job, pretty sharp. They're board handles. I'm making my own handles at the moment. Just hang on. So what I do? I make my own handles. The brass ferrules there. I've got these square bits. What I do, Andy, is I get the centre the centre and then that gives me an area to work to with and I use a technique like a lot of people do I suppose I saw this when the, when I was making my crook crease um, you cut in with a hacksaw get your diameter first mark it out see my black marker there mark it out and start just cutting down with the hacksaw in and then I use my nice little chisel I'll put it away so I use a chisel and just start chiseling down bit by bit from there down to there and it'll break off and if you need more you just keep cutting and then when I get close to the diameter I um, just use a, a file rough file around it then glue it on with some epoxy so now I'm going to work on the one I had this morning where is it put it down here did this yesterday that's nice and dry I'm going to start working on because I want it smaller down here and bigger up there I'm just gonna like you do with steel start grinding down corners this, this will cut down to where that ferrule is, then I'll drill that for the hand, for the, um, what do you call this bit, the pommel, uh, anyway, Andy, all I did was, um, sorry, I'm jumping with, then I'm just going to take corners down, like, go from 4 to 8 to 16, and just round it, this is going to be a nice rounded bit there. Yeah, this end. And uh, Andy, I just used some for my draw my just use some leaf spring like that. I don't know what I haven't got the, I'm not very organized guys, sorry, hang on, I'll be back. Alright Andy, this stuff is about 45, 45 wide, I don't know how thick it is, looks about 5, 5 mil thick. And I find that they make really good draw knives, heat treat it in oil. I just had a tin. I just did the edge a bit yesterday. It worked really well. I got this tin cut down, but it's not really the best at least of oil. See, it's still oil in there. So I just, when I got it critical temperature, I did that, normalised it three times. But this was full of canola oil in it. And I just rested on here and let the edge just and then I tempered it 
and it came out really good. There's my touch mark. I've already been sharpening this, so it came out really nice. Just need a bit more. The, um, the arms even like you would anything else over the edge work out what, how much I think I had about 40, 50, 60, 70 mil I think I left on each side to draw down these handles try and get it nice and round in there nice and flat along there. I like to have a little downward slope on my handles. Doesn't look like it now but it's not too bad actually. Yeah. It came out pretty straight. Anyway guys, I've got to get going. I've been the doctor so I'm running behind. I'm gonna start Sanding this down. I've got to change belts now. I'll catch us later. Guys, back. Um, I've finished. Finished the handles. I'm not sure what sort of wood it is. Just finished gluing. Uh, it's come out all right. It's a nice big blade. And uh, this is the shape I like. I've got. Brass ferrules. Just got to be cleaned up. Should be nearly ready to use. Hard to balance on the anvil. Might be better on the bench. Chuck. I never get. I'm, I'm never prepared for video. So anyway guys, I was a bit upset, I didn't burn them in like I used to, I uh, bashed them on a bit too hard and got a crack, I went both of them actually, I'm pretty disappointed, it takes a long time to get these handles done, but I've put some epoxy in there, yeah, I can resurrect them I reckon, they'll be alright. Bit of a bummer. I've never had anything crack when I burn them out. So that's what happened when you don't use your same method. Should have burned them out. Trouble is, I've already heat treated this and I've got no gas from the little gas torches and I didn't want to wreck the temper by putting in the forge again. I suppose I could have lifted a little coke forge and done that. I should have done that because you can. Um, just specify the area that you want to heat in the little coke forge. Anyway, alright guys, I'll catch you next time. This is Led, so enough, bye for now.